do you draw the line bete- between right and wrong? And as a public office holder, is there any scenario in which you feel it is okay to lie? No, I don't think lying is excusable ever, period, right? That there's no circumstance, especially if you're legislating for the American people right now. So what I might have done during the campaign does not reflect what is being done in the office. History has shown that the American people can pretty much forgive anything. But that starts with a sincere apology normally, a lot of remorse shown. Prevailing opinion is you have not yet shown that. You know, I I don't know what you mean by that because I have well, shown... Well, you, you seem angry. You seem angry. I'm not angry. angry. I'm not angry at all. I'm... Are you sorry? I've been... I've said I was sorry many times. I've behaved as if I'm sorry. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here and Caitlin Sinclair from OAN cornered George Santos in an interview today about the lies he told during his 2022 congressional campaign. During the interview, the host went after Santos and the insincere apology that he gave to voters in response to him lying about his work experience and education. But each time Sinclair pressed her point, Santos maneuvered like a squirrel being chased around a tree, poking his head out mockingly as he dodged direct questions. What would you say, George, that you would have done differently? I wouldn't have lied about the education. I wouldn't have. I would have just fought like hell to get that nomination. And to be the but in, in that same sentence, you've also said that you don't believe you would be sitting in this chair right now as Congressman George Santos if you didn't lie. It's, it's catch-22, but if I can do it all over again, I would change that one aspect and I just fight harder. People show emotions differently. I am sorry. I'm deeply sorry. I've, I've fielded calls. I've been calling supporters to apologize directly to them for that. And, you know, I don't know what what is asked of me right now. When you ask, oh, you have not shown remorse or you don't seem to look sorry. I don't know what looking sorry looks like to you, Caitlin. Um, The prevailing opinion out there right now from your voters is that they have not heard a sincere apology from you yet. I've made my sincere apology multiple times. I, I earlier said it that I thoroughly apologize for lying about my education and embellishing the resume. I've made that very, very clear. He danced around the host questions and eventually blurted out in frustration, I've made my sincere apology multiple times. I thoroughly apologize for lying about my education and embellishing my resume. I've made that very, very clear. Look, Joe Biden is a 40 year long career pathological liar. He's the president of the United States. That does not make it okay to lie. And I've learned my lesson and you can guarantee, I can guarantee you that from now on, anything and everything is always going to be above board. It's largely always been above board. I'm just going to go the extra step now to double check, cross-reference everything. I don't know what looking sorry looks like to you, Caitlin. Santos went on to say that he didn't know how to look sorry, but social media begs to differ. Caitlin Sinclair told Santos that the American people could forgive a lot of things based on a sincere apology and that it was perceived that George's remorse was not sincere. All that Santos could respond was with basically, I don't know what you mean by that. Unfortunately, the interview was like a bad version of dodgeball. No matter how much she tried, the host just couldn't ding Santos to the point to breaking him out of character for his role that he's playing. Trying to hold George Santos accountable was like playing a twisted version of whack-a-mole. Every time the OAN host confronted him with a valid argument, Santos would pop up like a -a jack-in-a-box clown through another hole with another nonsensical tale. We all know that George Santos is a liar and it's a waste of time trying to get a straight answer out of him. What he needs is to be removed from office and prosecuted, but we all know that the GOP needs his vote and will put up with his moronic shenanigans to further their agenda, and that's the real crime. Santos is part of the GOP circus. We will continue to bring you updates as they unfold on this situation, so stay tuned. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.